What's going on YouTube and welcome back to another video. So guys today we are checking out the changes that have been made to the bunker business with the Criminal Enterprises DLC. Now so far I have already made a video for the MC Clubhouse and also the Special Cargo Warehouse as well. The only video that I still have to make is about the nightclub and I will try to do that either tomorrow or the day after. The first thing that was added to the bunker is the ammunition contract. Whenever you have excess weapon parts in your bunker you will basically deliver them and kind of sell them to ammunition and for this of course you will get a reward. So basically what happens is that every day in GT Online or every 48 minutes in real life a dune loader will appear in your bunker. You can go up to it, press right on d-pad and then the ammunition contract will start. The mission is very simple, deliver the weapon parts to ammunition. This will always be a random ammunition so it could be that it's very close to you but it could also be that's very far away. During the mission you will have some NPCs attacking you, but I have to be honest, it's not that difficult. You can also do this in a private session. If you do decide to do it in a public session, don't worry, it won't appear on the map, so no one will even know that you're doing this. The payment that you get, the first time that you do it, it will be 150k. After that, you have the regular payment, which is 50k, which in my opinion is still good, because it takes you maybe less than 5 minutes. You can do it every day in GT Online. So every 48 minutes. And you don't have to pay anything for it. So it's just a free 50k that you can claim every day. The second thing that was added to the bunker. Is a mission that you can launch by calling Agent 14. To speed up your research process. So most of you guys probably already know. In the bunker you can use your supplies to make products. Or you can also use them to do research and then with the research you can unlock certain things. Now in my case I already have everything. So when I call Agent 14 I still have the option to do this research mission but obviously for me it will be pointless. So when you call Agent 14 right now you have two options. Request Bunker Research. You can also request Transportation. And when you're on Request Bunker Research okay. you also see the progress of your current research. For me it said 0%. But obviously if you still have research going on you can also see how far it is. The mission that you have to do so far I have done it three times and I think it's always the same. You basically have to go to a location, search for the target in a certain area. It's very easy to find them because you will see that there are a lot of cops around them. The target is a juggernaut. Best way to take him out is with a minigun. After you kill him go up to him, take the data that he's carrying because he's carrying some research data. After you have the data, lose the cops, bring it back to your bunker and that's it. By doing this, you will add approximately 25% to your current research progress. So one fourth of the research bar. After you do the mission, by the way, there's also a cooldown time on doing it again. And the cooldown time is approximately 20 minutes. So definitely a very long cooldown time. The second option that you have when you call Agent 14 is request transportation. For this you have a couple of options, but when you do this it will just give you a car. So nothing too special, if you ever need a car, if you're stranded, you cannot request your personal vehicle. You can now also call Agent 14 and then a car will spawn. The last thing that was added by the way for the bunker is two new resupply missions. Me myself, I don't really do the resupply missions for the bunker, I just buy the supplies because I think it's easier. But for the people that do, you will now also have two new resupply missions that are basically mixed up with the older ones. So guys, that's it. Hope you guys enjoyed it. If you have any questions, let me know in the comments. Make sure to like, subscribe, check out the Discord and peace out you guys.